Imagine the perfect garden, lush, vibrant, and teeming with life. But wait, what's that? Pests. They're everywhere. Picture a paradise, a haven of health and vitality, suddenly invaded by uninvited guests. From aphids to slugs, these tiny intruders can cause a big problem, disrupting the tranquility and posing a serious threat to your garden's well-being. The urgency to address this issue is real and immediate. But fear not, for every problem, there's a solution. Welcome to Pest-Free Paradise Natural Solutions for a Healthy Garden. Understanding your enemy is the first step to victory. Let's look at common garden pests and their natural predators. The world beneath our feet is buzzing with activity. From the smallest aphid to the sneakiest slug, garden pests come in all shapes and sizes. Aphids, for example, are tiny insects that suck the sap out of your plants, leaving them yellow and wilted. They multiply quickly, making them a formidable adversary for any gardener. But don't despair just yet because every villain has a hero ready to take them down. In this case our heroes are the ladybugs. These spotted crusaders are natural predators of aphids, capable of consuming up to 50 aphids a day. By attracting ladybugs to your garden, you can keep the aphid population in check. Next, let's turn our attention to caterpillars. These little critters may look harmless, but they can munch through your vegetable patch in no time. The good news? Birds are nature's answer to these leaf-eating machines. Encouraging birds to visit your garden not only adds a touch of wildlife beauty, but also helps control the caterpillar population. And what about slugs? These slimy invaders love to feast on your tender plants, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Fear not, for the humble hedgehog is here to save the day. Hedgehogs are natural predators of slugs, and providing a safe space for these prickly fellows can help keep your garden slug-free. So you see, your garden is a battlefield where pests and predators play out their age-old roles in the drama of life. But remember, this isn't a war you're fighting alone. By understanding these interactions, you can harness the power of nature to protect your garden. And let's not forget our buzzing friends, the bees. While they're not predators, they play a crucial role in pollination, helping your garden flourish. So, while it's important to control pests, it's equally important to attract beneficial insects and animals. Remember, not all bugs are bad, some of them are garden heroes in disguise. Have you ever heard of plants that protect each other? Allow us to introduce you to the world of companion planting. This age-old gardening method is all about creating plant communities that benefit each other. It's like a neighborhood watch program for your garden, where plants act as each other's bodyguards against pests. Companion planting is more than just a strategy for pest control. It's about creating an ecosystem where plants can thrive together. Some plants may deter pests while others attract beneficial insects, and some even improve the soil's health for their plant companions. Take for example the classic trio of corn, beans, and squash, known as the Three Sisters among Native American farming societies. The corn provides a natural trellis for the beans to climb, the beans enrich the soil with nitrogen, and the squash's large leaves shade the soil, preventing weed growth and retaining moisture. Another well-known pair is tomatoes and basil. Not only do they make a delicious combination in the kitchen, but they also work together in the garden. Basil is said to repel insects that feast on tomato plants, and some gardeners swear it even improves the flavor of the tomatoes. Planting marigolds around your garden is another effective strategy. These vibrant flowers are not just pretty to look at, but they also emit a strong scent that deters many common garden pests. Plus, they attract beneficial insects like ladybugs and lacewings, which prey on harmful pests. However, companion planting is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires observation, experimentation, and understanding the needs and behaviors of different plants. It's like a puzzle, figuring out which plants go well together and which ones don't. But once you get the hang of it, companion planting can be a game-changer for your garden. It's a natural, sustainable, and holistic approach to gardening that not only keeps pests at bay, but also promotes biodiversity and soil health. So next time you're planting, consider who makes good neighbors in the plant world. Ever thought you could whip up a pest deterrent in your kitchen? Well, you can. Let's start with neem oil sprays. Neem oil is a fantastic organic solution that can make a world of difference in your garden. To make your own spray, you'll need pure cold-pressed neem oil a biodegradable liquid soap and water. Mix one teaspoon of neem oil and a half teaspoon of soap with a quart of water, and voila! You've got yourself a potent, eco-friendly pest deterrent. Next up is garlic pepper tea. This concoction is particularly effective against leaf-eating insects. 
To make this, you'll need two hot peppers, two large cloves of garlic, and water. Blend the peppers and garlic with a small amount of water, then add this to a gallon of water. Let it steep for 24 hours, then strain it into a spray bottle, and it's ready to use. But don't stop there. There's an entire pantry of potential pest deterrents waiting for you. For example, a simple mixture of water and dish soap can deter a variety of pests. Or, for a slightly more potent concoction, try mixing water with a splash of vinegar and a squirt of dish soap. This can help ward off everything from ants to slugs. Remember, when using these homemade deterrents, it's important to spray in the early morning or late evening to avoid burning your plants, and don't forget to reapply after it rains. It's also worth noting that these deterrents are just that. Deterrents. They're not meant to wipe out all insects in your garden, but rather to keep pest populations under control. After all, a healthy garden is a balanced garden, and some insects play crucial roles in that balance, so why not give these DIY pest deterrents a try? They're easy to make, cost-effective, and best of all, they're kind to the earth. Plus, there's something incredibly satisfying about tackling garden pests with solutions you've crafted yourself. With these simple mixtures, you're not just a gardener, but also a biochemist. Don't just take our word for it, let's hear from gardeners who've turned their pest nightmares into lush, healthy havens. First up, we have Martha from Oregon, who was battling with a serious aphid infestation. She decided to give companion planting a try, and planted marigolds around her vegetable patch. Within a few short weeks she noticed a significant decrease in aphids. Today her garden is flourishing, and she's even managed to harvest her very own pest-free vegetables. Then there's Tim from Florida. His roses were the pride and joy of his garden until they were attacked by black spot fungus. Not wanting to use harsh chemicals he brewed up a batch of garlic pepper tea as we discussed earlier. And guess what? The black spots started to disappear. Tim's roses are now the talk of the neighborhood, all thanks to a homemade natural remedy. We also have a story from the Green Thumb Community Garden in Detroit. This urban oasis was plagued by various pests until they introduced beneficial insects. They released ladybugs and lacewings into their garden and the pests began to dwindle. Now the garden is a vibrant, thriving space enjoyed by everyone in the community. And let's not forget Sarah from California. Her garden was overrun with slugs until she started using coffee grounds as a deterrent. Now she enjoys her morning coffee even more, knowing the grounds will be put to good use keeping her plants safe. Her garden, once riddled with slugs, is now a lush paradise. These stories are just a handful of the many success stories out there. Gardeners from all walks of life in various climates and with different pest problems have found natural, safe and effective solutions. They've turned their gardens from pest-ridden plots into thriving, healthy and beautiful spaces. And remember, they were once in your shoes, dealing with the same pest problems you might be facing right now. But they took action, they tried out the methods we've discussed, and they succeeded. These are real success stories from real people, and you could be the next. Now that you're armed with knowledge, it's time to reclaim your garden. Don't let those pesky pests take over your little piece of paradise. Remember, the best defense is a good offense. Start by understanding the pests that frequent your garden, then introduce their natural predators. Companion planting can be a game changer, not only adding beauty to your garden, but also providing natural pest control. And let's not forget about those DIY pest deterrents. Grab your neem oil, garlic and pepper and whip up a batch of homemade pest spray. It's easier than you think and your plants will thank you. Remember, every garden is unique, and what works for one may not work for another. It's all about trial and error, so don't be disheartened if you don't see results immediately. Persistence is key. If you want to delve deeper, we have tons of resources available for you. From in-depth tutorials to downloadable guides, we've got you covered. And remember, you're not alone in this. There's a whole community of gardeners out there, just like you, who are eager to share their experiences and learn from each other. So don't be shy, reach out, ask questions, share your successes and your failures, turn your garden into a pest-free paradise, share your journey with us in the comments below, together we can grow better.